y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing Island tour. Today we are touring the island of Kiki Landia. This is by Kikak, also known as Kikak Crossing on Instagram. And this island is described as an elegant, multi-themed five-star island. So we're gonna have a little bit of palace core, a little bit of fairy core, definitely some European inspiration pulled into this island as well. So I'm thrilled to be taking a look around today. If you guys are new to my channel, first and foremost, welcome. So happy that you're here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do put out Animal Crossing videos every Wednesday and Friday. And with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at this map. Whoa, the amount of pathing, like in-game pathing that's put down is super impressive. Also, we have three houses right here. We have Kikaks and then we have Ooh, a hotel, so fun, and a cafe, awesome. So we have three houses to explore the interiors of. And then for villagers, we have Anka, who I absolutely love. I wish she fit my island's theme, but she doesn't, but she's so cool. Then we have Marina, Tutu, Coco, Judy, B, who again, I also absolutely love, Rudy, Julian, who is on my island, Raymond, and Marshall. So here is the map of Kiki Landia. Also, the dream address is right here on the screen. But as per usual, I will make sure to put Kikak's Instagram account and social media and the dream address and all the codes, all the good stuff in the description box. Also, this flag is perfect. I mean, it's custom. It says Kiki Landia on it. And I love the little mushrooms around. So this entrance, you guys, I mean, Look at that statue just like waiting to greet us in the background. <laughs> oh my gosh. So much detail right away. Also, um, the symmetry. Like, look at how symmetrical this is. Let me whip out the camera because this is a stunning entrance. I mean, check that out. Can I go this way? Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yep. That's how you really impress someone with an entrance. I mean, so amazing. Also, this cobblestone path and this brick path. That's beautiful. And I'm guessing it's laid on top of the in-game pathing as well. That would be my assumption. Ooh, okay, we can go this way. Also, love the festival items that are being used, like the balloon. How pretty is this? Oh, so this might be like the fairy core inspo part of the island. And then a nice little fishing dock. Oh, whoa. Um, okay, pirate ship. Are you kidding? This is cool. That is really cool and something I was not expecting right here. And look at this little mermaid beach. Oh my gosh, every single item. You guys, I'm the laziest with the swimming element in this game, but I love these items. I know I can still get them, but I just, I just haven't. I've been so lazy with my swimming. Yeah, this area is super pretty. Totally getting those fairy core vibes. Also, might I just say the festival items look really, really nice in like a fairy core inspired part of this island. So I'm gonna go back through this way. I do want to, well, check out this immaculate walkway. Look at how these leaning tower of pieces were used, almost like fencing. That's really cool. And you have, of course, the European inspired outdoor seating areas. Oh my gosh, this mushroom forest. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I need to explore. Okay, I know we're all over the place, but. <laughs> This, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, and Lily of the Valley. Of course, it's a five-star island. Y'all, I just got my first Lily of the Valley on Calicove yesterday, and I definitely teared up. <gasps> Are you kidding? Whoa. This is how you do a mushroom forest. I mean, wow. Wow. Yeah, that's brilliant. I am so speechless. 
This is gonna be a really fun island to explore and I can already tell every single corner that we turn I am going to get distracted. <laughs> oh, there's a friend. Hello, I saw you in the back. Coffee? <laughs> yes, I do. Well, definitely stop by the cafe. But in the meantime, I do wanna show you guys resident services where I woke up from the dream. <gasps> a present, I didn't even open this. I saw it, but I forgot to grab it. Oh my gosh, no, that's not what I wanna do. This is what I wanna do. <laughs> oh, perfect, okay. That is super handy for me. Also, let's, since we're here, check out the custom designs portal. And let's see what Mr. Kikak has made for us. That's one of my favorite elements about dream addresses is how you can look at the custom designs a player has created. I think that's super cool. It makes it really easy too if they've used them on their island. <gasps> Whoa, way more than I thought. Oh my gosh, is this the cobblestone I was just complimenting? Stone path, marble. Look at these three different cafe stalls. That is, ooh, okay, yep. So here's his creator code right on the screen. Again, I'll make sure to put it in the description box too. Oh, oh my gosh, and these windows? Venice window, castle window, gold marble, gold tile, window, window, window. This is, look at this tile, Spanish tile, Spanish tile. Oh my gosh, and how fun is this? This reminds me of um, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm super impressed. Are there any clothes? <gasps> Teddy Fresh, a Teddy Fresh hat? Are you kidding? That's fun. Well, I'm definitely going to save this. And I want to save some of those other paths, too. <laughs> There's that Ikea uniform. How funny. <laughs> that is so cute. I am so impressed. Okay, great. I am so glad that we stopped at the custom designs portal. Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes the creator might just have one item or... Uh, one custom code, but oh my gosh, not this time. This was so impressive. And obviously we are set in springtime, which is why the trees have cherry blossoms. <gasps> Look, see, there's that cafe um, custom code right there. Whoa, wait, this view, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What? Get out of the way, Katie. Get out of the way. That is something else. I just, like... Yeah, my, my brain doesn't work this way. It doesn't. I wish it did. But that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, my goodness. And now we're at Julian's little house right here. Oh, wait. I want to see what this pretty garden is. Whoa, so this is that grass path with the like clubs and diamonds and spades. Oh my gosh, it's almost like a like a little garden maze. And Judy, sorry Judy, I have to push you. <laughs> this is, oh wait, yeah, I do have to push her a little bit, I'm so sorry. This is cool. So it's like a little maze that then drops right here. There is so much to see. I'm sorry, this is insane. Like the detail is pretty mind boggling. Oh my gosh. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, let's check out what's on the beach while we can. Oh, how nice, like a little study area. Is this a classroom? I guess it could be a library or a classroom that's on the beach. How creative, oh my gosh, the cat tree back there. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun little detail. This looks so nice. A library on the beach. I love that. And then, of course, more lilies of the valley. <laughs> and then a little painting area. So this could definitely be some kind of office or studio. <gasps> and then, what? This is like a beach party spot, which is so much fun. You have your cake. You have a little fire pit. You have a jacuzzi. Yes, and then the festival parade, fun. That is so fun. And look, it looks like the little sheep are pulling the carts. Oh, and this cafe is just to die for. I mean, that is so cute. 
Also a great example on how you don't have to use massive areas for a cafe. Just so quaint and perfect. Hi Anka, you cutie. Also how creative. Look, there's like just the slightest bit of terraforming right there. So that way it looks like a roof. There's just the fencing put right there and a little custom code and it makes it look like the cafe has a roof. People are so smart. Um, I am not one of them. <laughs> and then a nice little reading area. Gosh, all of these areas are so well built, even when they're small. They're so symmetrical. They have that optical illusion to them. Look at how pretty this little art garden is. <gasps> wow. Yep, like another one. Okay, might I just say the cherry blossoms floating in the wind too just make this so <laughs> whimsical and pretty. I mean, the island was already stunning. Oh wait, did we see this little, this little outdoor cafe? I don't think we did. This is like a perfect example on what I was just talking about, how even the tiniest little spots are built up fully. Okay, this is so impressive. I'm not gonna shut up about how creative and just intelligently built this island is. So, warning y'all now. <laughs> also, look at this triple bridge moment, oh my gosh. Love it. Definitely getting where the European inspiration is coming from. And then a whole area for art and food. Let's see what's on the beach quickly. Oh my gosh, yeah, a little painting area. So I guess this is where you could come and paint, get some like landscape inspiration. Also maybe eat a little bit. You know what it reminds me of kind of? is a one of those like wine nights where you paint i've done one of those i just wanted to like not follow the rules i wanted to like paint whatever i wanted to not what they were telling me to do <laughs> this is cool though and then you have a little area to buy also so many bridges i am impressed with the amount of bridges that are being used in this section like this is really really cool <gasps> hello Hello. Oh wait, we must be near the, are we near the cafe? We must be, right? Wait. <gasps> yeah, okay, we're relatively near the cafe. I wanna check out the bottom left part of this island before we see that. Also, I do love the butterfly models just sprinkled around. Like look at this little dining area. It feels like different restaurants. It really does. Like this feels like it could be a very romantic, like luxurious spot. <gasps> yep, and the music area too, just for some nightlife entertainment. Look at these windows. These must be the windows we were looking at earlier that KeyCat created. I'm floored. I'm so impressed. Like even just this waterscaping. <gasps> I'm officially not playing the same game. Like. I don't understand. I don't understand. Yep. Yep, that's, it's just, it, this is, how? I'm blown away. Like, look at even the record. Uh, those are the record boxes, I think. How the record boxes make like little windows, and then you have the beds, the bunk beds to look like railing. I just. Uh, that's insane. I don't know what else to say. It's pretty insane. Insanely, like, beautiful, by the way. I'm not. <laughs> obviously. Oh, sorry, B. I didn't mean to push you, you cutie. to yeah it just feels like so different everything every area feels very unique and specific like this is clearly a little fisher's dog oh my gosh how cute like this could definitely be a um a seafood restaurant you know where you can actually 
catch something yourself. Because it is right next to the dock, which of course is perfect. This is a really pretty dock too. It feels very Grecian, but maybe it's just because there's this blue, the blue vase and the white items as well. Man, this is pretty. Okay, so I want to go to the cafe now. This, this build is like, should we do it again? Should we look again? Let's look again. Yeah, I just, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So, coffee, let's go get some coffee. So if I go over here, I'm assuming the cafe is back here to the left, I think is what was on the map. I mean, this island feels massive and we've only seen like the left side of it. Oh wow, and that lag too, I love it so much. That just means there are a ton of items, I mean clearly, on this build. How sweet, oh my gosh. This is such a cute little spot too. And then this must be the cafe. So I'm intrigued, we must go inside. Stop it. Wow. This, I mean, I was expecting it to be great, but this is exceeding my expectations. This is giving me some serious like Central Perk <laughs> vibes. <laughs> Just with how like cozy it is. It's like the slightest bit cluttered. It's so detailed. Is anyone else getting Central Perk vibes? Maybe it's just me. Also look at the little register back there. This is an adorable cafe and so unique. I've seen nothing like this. Look at all of the art on the walls. Every single corner is covered. I mean, this takes some serious time and dedication. Oh my gosh, I love, I love. Definitely the most unique inside of like cafe, restaurant that I've seen, for sure. Okay, I wonder, I probably can't go that way, but I do wanna see what's on can I go that way? Yeah, I want to see what's on the beach over here. Oh wait, this is Little Peninsula, which it looks like was terraformed up a little bit. Oh, for the lighthouse, how pretty. And then we have a little Fisher's Market. Again, feels super Grecian to me. I mean, I love, look, even just <laughs> the blue and white sign really ties it all together. This way, looks like we have like a little flea or farmer's market, or not farmer's market, a flea market where you can get some art. Got some windmills too. Gotta make sure we're being energy efficient. And I don't know if I can go this way. So instead, I'm gonna go back around. <laughs> when in doubt, just reverse, reverse the path, you know. So I love the little villager house that's just kind of sprinkled throughout, might I just say. <gasps> look at the laundry, the um, clotheslines outside. That really does look like people are doing laundry right outside of their apartment. Like how people in balconies will just hang their laundry off of a balcony for it to dry if they don't have a dryer. So neat. And then we're at Little Raymond's Cafe right here. Man, he has a great little spot too, doesn't he? And a post office? You got a post office right here on the beach too? Wow. Some serious elbow grease went into this build. I mean, everything is custom. Everything is built like sky high. The perception play on this island is no joke. I mean, clearly y'all can tell. Oh wait, is this the hotel? Yeah, whoa, whoa, that view. Hold on, before we actually go into this house, I want to 
look at this view. I mean, that's really, really pretty. <laughs> I wonder right here, can I? Yeah, I mean, everything, every single view. If you guys do this dream address, like, tour on your own, look up every chance that you get because it will not steer you wrong. I mean, are you kidding me? That is super, super cute. So let me check and make sure that this is the hotel before we go in. Yes, it is. Okay. So let's go check that out. I love this exterior, by the way. I think this exterior looks really pretty and it matches so nicely. I can't get over this. The simple panels, like, also, every simple panel is like a different color. You've got the brown ones, you got the green ones. There was a lot of, you know, trading and and custom designing going on in this island so much. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This is like a nice hotel. We've seen like a lot of lodges, log cabins as of late, but this is like a nice luxury hotel. I mean, we are on red carpet right now. So we are famous. This is a great lobby and that's exactly what it feels like. You're coming, you're checking in. There are multiple people to check you in, give you the keys to your room. Ooh, this is super cool. I think we are going to check out this room on the right first. I'm very curious to see what all is in here. Oh my gosh, how cozy. This matches so well too. Like take note, this wallpaper along with this flooring and furniture all looks really good. Oh my gosh, and the little bathroom right there too. Didn't even see that at first. And you have a vanity. Well, this is a very sweet room. I wonder if all of the rooms are bedrooms or if we're gonna have like, you know, a ballroom or, or something else that would be in a hotel. Now let's see the back room. <gasps> oh, okay, so it is different bedrooms, but this one is like totally different than the one we just saw, which was very, you know, not log cabin but very natural, very basic and like, uh, not basic in a bad way, I meant just, you know, a normal hotel room. But this is a room I would wanna stay in. This is a fun room, even a kid's room possibly. This is so much fun. Definitely get those kid core, fairy core vibes in this room. <laughs> I love it, I also love that flooring. And now it's time to check out this room on the left. Oh, this is like a lounge. This is exactly what I was talking about when I was like, I wonder if we're gonna see something different besides just, just bedrooms, but this is a really cool way to do a modern, sleek, lounge kind of area for your guests. You know, because sometimes they'll have a hotel restaurant, a hotel bar, but there's always that seating area. You know, if you're waiting for a taxi or an Uber, or maybe you're waiting on the concierge person to get back from their lunch break so you can ask them questions. There's always that seating area in hotels and this really, really hits the nail on the head because it matches the lobby so well too. All right, let's check out the upstairs first and then I'm curious to see what's in the basement. <gasps> How fun! This is a precious room. You've got toys, you've got the bunk beds. So this is definitely like a familial room, I would imagine, because you do have a living area, you do have a little kitchen space and a dining space, um, but you also definitely have some some little ones staying with you. Is that the Teddy Fresh hat on the 
It is. Look at that. The blue hat is the Teddy Fresh hat. <laughs> How sweet. Oh my gosh, and they're all over. Look, there's the Teddy Fresh hoodies. That's genius. So we must, I'm assuming, must have some H3 fans out there. So what then is going to be in the basement? I think it's gonna be a laundry area, but I could be very, very, very wrong. I'm probably wrong. Oh my gosh, it's an indoor pool. That, well, again, nice hotels usually have a pool area of some kind. And this is, I can like smell the chlorine. I can smell the chlorine. This is an awesome idea, an indoor pool. Wow, I haven't been in an indoor pool in I don't even know how many years. It's been a long time. This is so smart. And again, fits with the hotel. I really, really liked this house. This was really creative. Now let's keep exploring. Have we, I don't even know. I'm gonna look at the map. I don't think we've seen Nook's Cranny or April Sisters, or if we did, oh my gosh, hi Judy. <laughs> let's see where those, yes, okay, we have not, because they're all in the back center, except for Nook's Cranny, which is in the back left. So let's make our way, I guess, back that way. Um, actually, is that, you know, I don't know if the map's gonna be able to tell me. <laughs> let's see if I can go this way to get there. Possibly, but also possibly not. Through the post office, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, look at this rock garden. Well, not like, you know, not like a rock garden, rock garden, but like a nature. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. And then back here. Oh, how nice. This is like a really luxurious outdoor library. Like you got a piano, you got a nice telephone booth, you have leather couches. You got a weird fish right here too. You got it all. Oh, so okay, so there's Nook's Cranny, but before we do that, this is what I wanna see. Whoa. This feels like the Coliseum. Is that what it's supposed to be? because it feels like the Coliseum to me. Oh, and then a nice little classroom. How sweet. So then Duck's Cranny is down here. Just kind of tucked away and hidden. <laughs> I love it, Keekak's like, Duck's Cranny, get out of the way. I have way better buildings than you. <laughs> this is really, all of these windows, I completely understand now why he created so many windows because they make different parts of the island feel so different from one another. Oh, oh, I'm in a chair. How do I get out? How do I get out? I didn't even mean to sit in it. <laughs> there we go. Look at Coco. Oh, what a cutie. As per usual. Oh, sweet. Yeah, like I'm saying, you guys, if you guys do the stream address tour on your own, um, look up every chance that you get because it really is something else. There's just so much to see. This is definitely one of those islands. Oh my gosh, look at the little Spanish tiles right there. How pretty. One of those islands that you're gonna to wanna to visit over and over and over again just to see more and like you'll see new things every single time. Also, look at how these yellow simple panels make for additional windows onto this house. I mean, that's brilliant. That's a really cool way to expand your villager houses and make them feel and look a little bit bigger. Oh wow, and Judy gets like her own beautiful, colorful, perfect for her yard where she has little tea cakes everywhere. I love that. Wait, did I already, hold on. If I'm already on the right side. Oh wait, no, I'm in the middle. 
yeah, clearly I have no sense of direction. <laughs> I'm gonna go down then to where the beach is. Oh my gosh, I, I can't get over like these area. Like what? Can't get over it. So many great views. This is a really sweet little walkway too. This little cafe. That is so elegant. It's so cozy all at once. Oh my gosh, this walkway with the Nova lights. <gasps> yeah, that's so, 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 one more time, so pretty. Like what a creative way to not only use the bridges, but just a way to use some waterscaping with just a few items. It's really not that many. And then, yeah. No words. Absolutely no words. What's up here? So we have some more art up here. So many eating and dining areas. I love it. And this definitely feels like, oh, I was going to say a wedding, but it's a birthday spot. Like a fancy birthday. This is like where you come for like your 30th, you know? Oh God, that's happening to me later this year. Don't remind me. Don't remind me. This area is super pretty. Oh wait, this, <gasps> I know what this is. Hold please. Boom. This is the castle. Like that element of castle core I said that was in this island. Well, look no further. I am so impressed. I don't know what else to say. I feel like I'm repeating myself every time I'm blown away. But, I mean, come on. Also, I love that the... Oh, wait, can I get a different view over here? Look how pretty this little garden. Oh, my gosh. And you have the Rosetta Stone, too. Ugh, yeah, this is some serious planning and all of the symmetry is so beautiful. Oh, hey, David. <laughs> The symmetry is really something else. Don't mind me just having a photo shoot in front of this stunning, stunning house. Okay, well obviously we have to go in. And then we will go see April Sisters Museum, campsite, all that fun stuff. Ooh, definitely a castle core entrance right there. Wow. Wow. I love the marble interiors in both the hotel and also this one. And the gold. Yeah, this is a perfect kind of build with um, the Celeste items, like all of the astrology items. They definitely, especially those lamps. I love the Pisces lamps. They definitely bring a sense of elegance and luxury into a build especially in interiors, like when you're pairing it with this white marble. It's really, really well done. That throne too. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go this way first now. Oh my gosh, it's like a ball. Oh no, it's a wedding. It's a wedding because look at the little ring. This is so pretty. And it's like, there's like a dock. This is really beautiful. I've seen some weddings outside. I've not yet seen one inside. And the fireworks too. It's so happy and romantic. Oh, this makes me so happy. Congratulations to the couple. I wish you well. Send me your registry and I will buy you the plates you picked out. I don't know. Some fine china. <laughs> and now let's go into this, oop, into this back room. That was super cute. I really liked that. <gasps> A mermaid room. Again, it's like whenever I see builds like this, 
and interiors or exteriors with the mermaid items. I'm like, Katie, all you have to do is go swimming a little bit. That's all you have to do. And will I do it? That is to be seen. <laughs> this is really whimsical and fun. What a unique room too. This wall, I love, I pretty much love all of the animated wallpapers, but this one is just something about it's very calming and therapeutic, those little pink bubbles. Now to the room on the right. Goodness, a butterfly bathroom. This is definitely the most unique bathroom I've seen. This is uh, the wallpaper, I'm, I'm like 99% sure, is from the Bug Off, which happens in the summer. And it is one of my favorite wallpapers. I think it's really cool. And for a bathroom, how creative. Also this floor, I'm obsessed with as well. The little cloud, I think it's called the cloud flooring. Yeah, what a unique bathroom. I think that's so smart. I've always said in real life, like if I had one crazy room in my house, it should be the bathroom. You know, just put like insane wallpaper or <laughs> something like that. Oh, oh, look at the little picture of Raymond. So up here we have like a really nice, elegant, kitchen slash almost like a little ballroom dining room kind of area this is really elegant also these windows this is i think the wedding wallpaper i think this looks so good those little lights on top of the um wow i'm clearly forgetting all of the item names in the game it's like i've never played this game before <laughs> This looks good, is what I'm saying. These these things look good. <laughs> what a well done kitchen. I love that it's upstairs too. Oftentimes you don't see the kitchen on the second story of a house, but you have so much more space, you know? So if you want a really, really big kitchen, that's where you should do it. Oh my gosh. And a cool little apartment down here too. You got the bunk bed, you have a living area, you have the toys. Also love all the art, like the signatures on the wall. This whole house, excuse me, castle has been beautiful. I like that the lights are turned off in here too and you have the street light, the little Nova clock, the candles all bringing that illumination into the room. And out we go. This is, <laughs> I'm so like flabbergasted at everything that we've seen. It's, I mean, just this alone. Are you kidding me? And you got a little cafe outside. And then sweet Julian's house. I thought we saw Julian's house earlier, but maybe it was Marshall's. Maybe I got confused. Oh, and another little green yard. I love these areas. I think this is really precious. Oh wait, this is literally the same one, isn't it? How did I miss this earlier? Whoa, hold on. How did I miss this gigantic castle earlier when we were here? <laughs> like, how's that even possible? <laughs> so now let us go to the back and see the campsite and Able Sisters. At least I think I was back here. Hmm, this is where the map comes in. To the shot. Okay. I see. I think we're gonna have to go this way. This way? You know what, we'll find it. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Yeah, I love this whole walkway. Gosh, everywhere, like everywhere you look, there's like a different beautifully structured build. And here's 
a sweet little house. Is this Bee's house? It's very cute. Oh my gosh, and then we have this whole back little walk area. I like when people kind of have the backs of their islands hidden this way. It's really nice. It's like you have little secret dining areas, you know, the VIP section, if you will. <laughs> Got the Statue of Liberty. So this is like a, a dock right here. Wait, is that supposed to be a boat? I think it is, because you have a little captain right there. That's really creative for those back rocks. And here is the museum with, again, wonderful dining spots right outside. So you can do a little museum tour, grab a snack. There is so much to see. I, Yeah, this is definitely one of those islands that I know for a fact I'm missing at least like five or six very incredible spots and I'm gonna have to visit again. Or just off camera, like go through it 10 more times. And here is the campsite. I love the Nova lights and the little blue elements brought into it. Yeah, wait, okay, okay, whose house is whose? Now I just wanna know, um, which one's Julian's house? Okay, so we did see Julian's house up there and this is Marshall's house. Oh, okay, they do look pretty similar though, don't they? Or maybe it's just the lighting. Yeah, this I absolutely love. And I did see Able Sisters over here on the right, so let's go check that out, and then we will look at the far right side of the map. This is a long video, you guys. I didn't even preface that in the beginning. But if you're still with me, say what's up in the comments. Say what's up, I'm still with you. <laughs> I'm hanging in there. How? Oh my gosh, and just like a little bee area right here too. Okay, how do I get up there to the Able Sisters. You know what? I do have a ladder, but I don't know if I can use it right here. I can't. <laughs> can I use it here? Can I use it here? Ooh. Well, it's okay. I'll figure it out. If there's a will, there's a way, and I do have the will. This is such a unique museum entrance, too. This little detail of this boat right here is brilliant. Hello, Anka. Okay, so this is how I get up to the Able Sisters. Hi, B. Absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. It's almost like they're like a historical kind of tailor shop with that painting out front. I love that. And now, let us go to the right side of the map. Because that's the only side that we haven't done a lot of exploring in. Oh my gosh, the waterscaping. It's so good. I'm just so impressed. Each and every step of the way. Oh my god, I was literally about to use the ladder and there's stairs right in front of my face. <laughs> oh, I'm ridiculous sometimes, huh? Oh, we did see that amazing mushroom forest and then this is the side that gives me the most fun oh my gosh most fun happy birthday fairy core vibes also a little bit of kid core I definitely understand why this island is considered multi themed because you have like obviously the elegant castle core but then you have this really fun bright and whimsical part of the island too like look how cute where everything is just colorful. Oh yes, we saw the Mermaid Beach earlier. Everything is so colorful and whimsical and like even the flowers change colors. I love this birthday spot, this. That's really sweet, that's so sweet. Also look at the custom coats on the ground. <gasps> birthday cupcake, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> And just so you guys know, whenever you do do a dream address tour, if you pick anything up or take anything or run through flowers or something like that, 
Uh, don't worry because it actually doesn't, you don't get to keep it. When you wake up, everything's gone. That view too. Everything on this island is just so immaculate. Well, I know exactly where I would like to end this video and that, my friends, is actually one of the first areas we saw. If I can get there, yep, it's this absolutely fun mushroom forest because coming up soon, hello Raymond, you can, uh, you can also be with me. Oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Okay, Raymond wants to be in the shot too. As you guys know, uh, or maybe you don't know, maybe I'm the one breaking the news to you, but if you don't know, Animal Crossing New Horizons is doing a collaboration with Mario, and we are getting some really cool Mario items, and this reminds me of that update that's happening really shortly. So let me know in the comments if you're excited about that update. Um, also, let me know what you think of at Kiki Landia. I'm floored. Like, I don't know what else to say. Please go give Kikak some love. Again, everything will be listed in the description box. If you want to download the custom code that he has created, I will put the creator code there, the dream address, absolutely everything. With that said, you guys, I'm hoping that you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.